And howdy guys, and um, as we said at the end of the last video, part one has been accomplished, and we, we transferred the data from CSV to a SQL file, right, correctly formatted with the date, date type, varchar, and integer types per column. Everything is all good in the hood. Now, we actually need to, uh, to take that data and upload it to our cloud MySQL database on uh, JawsDB slash Heroku. All right, so in order to do this step, we actually need to have um, another program. In this case, I'm using a program uh, which I really like. It's called, uh, let me double check what the name of this program is. Um, let's see, I'm gonna call SQL MySQL. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, MySQL, um, oh wait, hold on, it's this, hold on, ah, okay, it's called Heidi SQL. Heidi SQL is the program that I'm using, I already have it installed, it's pretty simple to set up, um, and it's a really awesome program, I'm using a Windows machine, and the nice thing about Heidi SQL is that that actually gives me the connection to the cloud database from my local machine and and then I can take that SQL file that we that we just created and upload it to a cloud MySQL database so let's actually go into MySQL um, after you go ahead and install Heidi SQL for Windows I think it also runs on Linux but in this case we're using Windows mm. Um, uh, we need to actually create a connection to our to our our cloud MySQL database. What are we going to call this? We're going to call this CSV to a metabase demo. Okay, and I'm going to click that. Oh, shnikes! I forgot to put in the details. Okay, great. Okay, one second. Let me go into file hmm. CSV to my C to metabase demo. Sorry, I didn't do this correctly. File. A uh, new window. No, file. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, I think I can close that. Yes, close that. Uh, no. 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 All right. Uh, now I'm going to go in. All right. CSV to MetaBase demo. Okay. We're going to need to create a new one. What are we going to call this thing? We're going to call this metabase rocks okay over here host name what's the host name of this new of this new thing i'm going to go into our jaws db the host is this is this control c it's just a matter of of just copy pasting at this at this point all right host control copy and ho control v the username again control copy is going to go in there the password is this, control C, control V, the port 3306, all good, and the database, also important, control C, goes in there, and we're all ready to rock, okay, make sure there's no spaces, and we are good, open, okay, metabase-rocks is the name of this connection, settings for metabase-rocks were changed, yes, I wanted to save it, I want to save it, and I get something that looks like this. Okay. So everything is good. Now that I've got that, I go into that database over here, right? And uh, what do I have over here? Create table conversion data. Huh, interesting. For some reason, it it already pasted everything in there. I'm um, not sure exactly how that, that all got pasted in there, but it looks like this is the data, create table conversion data. Yes, I want to do that. I want to run this query. Most of the time you'll need to go into file. You'll need to right click it and right export and import data. Okay. SQL error. You have an error in your SQL syntax. Check the Using the link at line one. Okay. Thanks. Your query produced one warning. Huh. Question is whether it actually worked. Okay. It looks like. Ah, uh, wait a second. We may have pushed the wrong data in there. No, it looks like the correct data. Okay. Yeah. Date. 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 This seems like it's the correct data. So what happened there? And let's see whether any data actually got 
uh, you know what I'm just got imported in there. So I've created a connection there. Okay, query, select all from conversion underscore data. See if anything happened there. Ah, so everything came in good. Click time, install time, and install date. How many rows though? All right, hopefully it'll be okay. So it looks like the data did get, get pumped in there. The main thing I did was I took that SQL file and all you need to do actually over here is file, uh, let's see, uh, open a SQL file. Um, there's a way to import SQL in there, file, load SQL file, right? And then I, it, and then you choose that, right? And then, then you just press, and then you just press run. Okay, so that's kind of, we take that SQL file, we push that SQL data, uh, correctly formatted into our cloud DB and it's uh, and we just ran that that query which proved to us that everything is the way that it needs to be right select all from conversion data S uh, show me what's in the conversion data table of this live SQL database and it looks like everything is all good so now we just go into metabase at this point let's open this up over here let's go into MAH dash analytics one second guys this is a metabase deployment if you look at the um, uh, uh, right the previous videos or uh, I've got other videos on how to actually create a metabase deployment on Heroku as well because I'm not paying for the metabase um, uh, metabase server then uh, it the server goes to sleep and when the server goes to sleep um uh, if i don't use metabase um for a specific amount over a specific interval the server goes to sleep and you need to wake it up so that's what's happening right now it takes a little time but well, it's only about 10 seconds all right now i go within metabase i need to go into settings admin I go into databases and I'm going to do the same process that I did before. I'm going to press add database. And again, this time I'm using metabase here. Control left. And let's go into our JAWS DB credentials. Okay, cool. I've got that. I press windows and control left. And what type of database do I want to connect to metabase? A MySQL cloud database. I'm going to cloud whatever I want to call it I'm gonna do call metabase I'm gonna do CSV to metabase demo okay the host again I just copy paste these values value control C host okay get rid of the empty space HD blank the username straight from JAWS DB again username okay all good and the password okay here's my password and the port 3306 yes 3306 and the database name take from here all right everything is good uh, I got it I got everything CSV to metabase demo and uh, I'm going to go ahead and press save on the bottom. Let's see if it works. Let's see. Uh, could not connect to address blank socket fail to connect. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. The host. Database name. That's good. Database username. Uh, maybe the database password has extra spaces, so I'm going to grab the database password and just paste it into something else. Hmm. Control C. Use a secure SSL. Fine. Use SSH. Hmm. No, I don't want to use that. I press save. Could not connect to address host equals blank. Socket fail to connect. Hmm. Let's see. 
All right. Uh, looks like we're up to 10 minutes over here. So in the next vi in the next video, we'll just uh, go ahead and continue wrapping things up. And I'll uh, I'll try to debug this and get back to you guys soon. And I'll see you in the next one.